theyeshiva.net. Let's see inside. Hadalad, the fourth attribute, l'she'eris nachalosay, to the remnant of his inheritance. Hinei HaKadosh Baruch Hu misnayin gim Yisrael b'derech zeh. This is how Hashem behaves with the Jewish people. Loimar saying, Mo'esel Yisrael, what am I supposed to do to Yisrael, to the Jewish people? Even if their behavior is inappropriate, even if their behavior is wanting, what do you want me to do? Vehem kroiva. These are my relatives. She'er basar yashli imoham. We have a relationship by flesh. We are relatives. Shehem ba'zug la'kadosh baruch hu. The Jewish people are basically the spouse of Hashem. V'kayre labiti achoisi imi k'depeshu razal. The Medrash Rabbi in Shir Hashidim says that Hashem defines us in Tanakh sometimes as my daughter, sometimes as my sister, sometimes as my mother. Uksiv, the Pasuk says in Tehillim, we say it every day in Pesukah de Zimra, Yisrael am kreivoy. The Jewish people are the nation that is close to him. So usually we translate kreivoy, we are close to him. He says, no, mamish kurva yesh mama bon of him. Kreivoy means like you say, you're my karev, not just you're close to me in proximity. You're my karev means you're my relative. We, 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 we share the same genes. They are his children. We're like part of his flesh, part of his infinite entity. We are, we are fragments of the divine. We are a reflection of the divine. We are a piece of the divine. We are a piece of Hashem. Like a child is, has an intrinsic and innate and indestructible and unbreakable connection with parents. This is the meaning of the words. It's like a relative, somebody who's part of your flesh. We are his shaydis, we are part of him. So despite anything, ultimately we are his nachala, we are his inheritance, which means we are those who are one with him, connected to him, like children who are ears of their parents. So God says, what do you want me to say? Ima anisha. You think I could punish these people? You think I could just penalize them? The pain is mine. I'm not punishing them. I'm punishing me. I'm destroying me. Like the Pasuk says in Yeshaya, chapter 63, In all of the tsaris, in all of the distress of the Jewish people, he is distressed. He is pained. Now here we have an interesting twist. In Tanakh, we often have a word that's written one way, but it's pronounced a different way. In this case, it's written loy lamed aleph. It's pronounced as lamed vav. Now, really, the pronunciation is the same, but it's two opposite meanings. Loy with an aleph, loy al, lamed aleph means not. Loy with a vav, lamed vav, is to him. So this pasuk has both meanings. It says bechol tsarasam loy tsar. It's written with an aleph, but it's pronounced with a vav. So the Ramak explains. Ksiv ba'alef, it's written with an alef loyma to teach us, shetzara magia lepele ha'elye, that the pain of the Jewish people, loy tsar. Loy tsar means it reaches alef. Alef is the same letters like the word pele. The words, the letters of alef is alef lamet pe. It's the same letters like pe lamet alef. Pele means a wonder, that which is completely transcendent, way above the human mind, it's infinity. This is known as Pela Ha'elyein, the divine wonder, and Kabbalah is associated with the crown, with the keser. So Bechol Tzorosam Loitzar, all of the distress of the Jewish people, reaches God in his ultimate infinite transcendence, in the Pela Ha'elyein, in the ultimate wonder, the divine infinity, that's where the pain of the Jew reaches. V'kol Shekein Ledu Partsufin Shebehen Iker Ha'anhaga. Certainly, it affects Hashem the way Hashem is manifested and defined in the characteristics, in the spheres known as Dupartsufen. Dupartsufen means, Dupartsufen means the two faces, Shabahen Iker Hanhaga, through which God basically runs the world. It says that when Adam and Chava were created, they were like Siamese twins that had two faces, one facing one direction, one facing the other direction, and they were connected. Then there was a surgical decoupling so they could come together face to face as a husband and a wife. And Kabbalistically, this represents the masculine attributes of God and the feminine attributes of God. It's known as Zah and Malchus. These are the two faces. 
So the Ramak says, the distress of the Jewish people affects even the Aleph, the Pela HaElyon. And certainly it affects the way God is manifested in various attributes. V'karinan bevav loitzar. When we pronounce the word, we say loitzar. All of their oppression, all of their distress affects him. Uksiv, the Pasuk says in Shaftim, chapter 7, Fatikzar nafshoi ba'amal Yisra. God's soul became distressed, became oppressed because of the pain of the Jewish people. He cannot handle their pain, their disgrace, their shame because they are him. There's no such a thing. Something happens to the Jewish people that didn't happen to God. The Jewish people are a manifestation of Hashem. They are, so to speak, a piece of divinity, a ray of infinity, a fragment of Hashem. So therefore, when the Jewish people collectively or individually are experiencing any pain, this is the divine pain. This oppresses, this distresses the Rabbi Nishalayim. And not just the way he's manifested in a more condensed and finite persona called the two faces, but even the Aleph, the Keser, the Pele, Elia, the divine transcendence, even over there, the relationship affects him in such a powerful way because the unity is intrinsic. This is the fourth Midah of She'eris Nachalas, that after everything said and done, there's a relationship that is unbreakable, indestructible, non-negotiable. It could never be diluted. It could never be compromised. It could never be broken. It could never be shattered. Even if I make mis- if my child makes mistakes, my child betrays me, my child does things that I really disapprove of, he is still my child. She is still my daughter. We are still brothers and sisters. You are still my father. You're still my mother. Why? Because we're just essentially connected. It's She'er Basa. It's, it's, it's our flesh is connected. We are one. We are indivisible, even if we seem fragmented and splintered from each other. Says the Ramak, this is how we have to live as well. This attribute I can mirror, we can mirror as Jews. Every person, when you look at your colleague, you look at your fellow, you look at your friend, you look at all the Jews, remember... They are related to you. They are interconnected to you like, like blood relatives. Even if you're not blood relatives, because our souls are all interconnected. Our souls are indivisible. Our souls are one. So in my soul, I have a piece of your soul. And in your soul, you have a piece of my soul. And we understand why, because if all of our souls Hashem is one, indivisible. So essentially, if our souls are pieces of God, it means that we are all one. So in my soul, I have your soul. And in your soul, you have my soul. This class is brought to you by the yeshiva.net. Please help us continue the classes. Make even a small contribution at www.theyeshiva.net slash donate.